Hi everyone, 大家好 The topic today is remaking the past. I'm Zhirong. I'm Chang Yu. We are from Cultural Heritage Institute of Zhejiang University. I am majoring in archaeological research, digitizing grottoes and ancient architecture. I will introduce our newest work with my partner. We will outline the detailed method of reconstructions with use laser scanning and photogrammetry to produce precise geometry metrics combined with high resolution textures. This enabled one to one cultural heritage replication fabricated through 3D printing to a steel structure with chemical reinforcement and integrating color replication through colorful calibration. Pigment analysis, management of light conditions and painting techniques. These digital technologies can help the virtual repatriations and exhibitions. Cultural Heritage Institute in Zhejiang University established in 2010. Digital archaeology is the main branch in the institute and the main interdiscipline discipline in Zhejiang University. The research of digital archaeology lab laboratories about archaeological sites records and cultural relics via digital protection technology. This is about our team. The research team focused on linking service practice, professionals from the faculties of liberal arts and sciences re responsible for providing academic support, developing advanced technologies and conducting interdisciplinary research in the field of cultural relax preservation. Doctoral researchers, master's students, and technicians are responsible for applying leading computational techniques to digitization of cultural relics. The construction team is responsible for the investigation and design of cultural relics, preservation projects, and for providing users with comprehensive di di digital technology solutions. The team for logistics and public affairs assists in the research and construction work. The research team has undertaken or been involved in more than 100 programs since 2010. This uh, the uh, duplicated cave number 220 of Mongol world at Dunhuang dated in Tang Dynasty. This is a favorite place for visitors. This picture is about exhibition of the work results. This is the map uh, for our projects from the past 10 years. Uh, one, three, 133 projects uh, accomplished, accomplished a database of uh, approximately 120 t 50 TB, one of the four galleries of Zhejiang University Museum of Art and Archaeology has been hosting the achievement of digital archaeology. Reviews of role plan and prospects. Our work covers important sites along the Silk Road. The research is conducted according to the disciplinary construction of Zhejiang University with a primary target to record and encourage traditional cultures types of cultural relics, including mural paintings, target-scale wooden, large-scale wooden structure, 
archaeological sites, museum, museum collections, Tangka, uh, Buddhist sculptures, giant ware, and so on, covering all types of cultural relics, mobile and immobile. Reviews on role plans and go on ambitions about standards, features, and the essential goal. Stands the level of archaeological archives to preserve permanently and support a continuable representation. Features uh, interdisciplinary team of computer science and archaeology rooted in the vast land of China, we explore the digital, digitalization of Chinese cultural relics. In practice, develop and operate the hardware and the software according to the characteristics of Chinese cultural relics. Design and manufacture, manufacture the equipment, comprehensive, Utilization of multiple multiple digital digitalization technique technologies. The essential goal to build a valuable and abundant digital ar archive for Chinese cultural heritage to provide fundamental materials for the preservation and inheritance <laughs> of Chinese culture to explore the possibilities for different civilizations to inspire and to learn from each other, to better preserve the Chinese culture and contribute to world civilization in the digital era. Now, next I will pass the mic to Chang Yu. I'm going to introduce our recent works on remaking the past with 3D scanning and printing technologies. In 2014, Yungang Grotos Academy and Zhejiang University started a pre-research experiment on Grotto replication technology. In April 2016, the Yungang Grotos Academy and Zhejiang University and other units established the Digital Yundang Joint Laboratory. The high-fidelity digital collection, processing, and reproduction of high-relief grottoes have become the key content of the Joint Laboratory. At the end of 2016, the Yungang 12 Grotto Replication Project was officially established. A difficult but determined journey of discovery began. The cave number 12 of Yungang Grottoes, also known as Music Cave, was built in the 5th century. The front hall and the back room have a depth of 14 meters, a width of 11 meters, and a height of 9 meters. The interior of the grotto is in the form of three-dimensional sculptures recording the grand performance scene of ancient musicians. Stepping into the cave number 12 is like entering a magnificent music hall, a dance world, and an elegant music event. The Recreating Yungang project started from 2016, and our working group went to Yungang Grottoes to comprehensive 3D digital data collection at 2016. Uh, the uh, Cultural Heritage Institute of Zhejiang University processed all the valid data at uh, 2017 and at, uh, from 2018 to March 2019, the 3D printing factory completed the 3D printing, the structural design, assembly and uh, uh, splicing and the packaging design of the uh, replication cave. At the end of March to October uh, 2019, the Yungang Grotos Academy organized the artists in the 
uh, in the academy to complete the painting construction of 920 square meters in eight months. And finally, the exhibition <coughs> opened at 2020. So there are many difficulties uh, to recreate a huge cave. Uh, unlike 3D rendering, 3D printing requires high detailed shape data for the fabrication. Such demands cause many technical difficulties, including huge data mount, accurate dense point cloud, high resolution texture mapping. When 3D printing technology is used to make replicas of large artifacts for exhibitions, there are still many practical difficulties. First, 3D printing requires a long production cycle. The printing job of large 3D models often takes several days to complete. Second, when the volume of the 3D printer is smaller than the size of the character relic, it's necessary to design a reasonable assembly method. Finally, when using 3D printing technology to make replicas of large-scale grottoes, they must consider the support structure and the installation issue. And uh, we still have other difficulties, such as the safety problem. Uh, we have to make the replica's appearance uh, looks like the original one, and we have to control the production cost, and we also have to control the transportation and assembly costs. Uh, here we can see the details of the Yungang Grottoes. There are uh, weathering details, there are uh, details yeah. of uh, different kinds of problems, and um, multiple layered painting uh, makes things more difficult. Uh, so, we use uh, a combined method to achieve a high definition 3D model reconstruction. Uh, we use photogrammetry for the overall data collection and laser 3D scanning uh, for the partial collection. Uh, a total of 52 sites were selected for laser scanning. Uh, which took three days to obtain uh, about 50 gigabytes data uh, for constructing the uh, structure of this cave. And uh, in the process of taking photos, the uh, camera ISO sensitivity parameters uh, are unified to 100 and the, the aperture uh, is unified to 22 and the shutter is unified to uh, 100. Uh, uniformly and the uh, consistency of lighting are very important in this program. Uh, shape of the status in the grottoes is complex. Uh, the unevenness and occlusion on the surface of them will cause uneven illumination, which requires flexible adjustment during the installation of the lights. Therefore, when the lighting condition uh, change the color chart should be taken first to correct the color of this group of photos. According to the overall layout and the, the shape of the cave, uh, the photo uh, taking work was divided into four layers. Uh, the distance between layers is around 1.8 meters and a total of about uh, 55,000 photos were taken, which is about uh, 300 billion pixels. And uh, the total amount of the data is about uh, 3,100 gigabytes. And we have to uh, develop a customized uh, algorithm to do the huge photogrammetry uh, calculation. Uh, due to the total amount of the photogrammetric data. Uh, it's 
far exceeds the computing power of the standalone photogrammetric photogrammetric software, and it's difficult to obtain satisfactory results in the commercial distributed photogrammetric calculation software in the actual test. The essence of this problem is how to solve the problem of super large scale bundle adjustment in photogrammetry uh, efficiently uh, with high quality. Uh, so after a distributed bundle adjustment uh, calculation and uh, uh, integrated with the depth map, the dense 3D point cloud results of the uh, cave uh, could be obtained. And we uh, spend a lot of time to uh, compare different kinds of 3D printing techniques. And uh, uh, finally, we decide to uh, build our own huge 3D printers. So the uh, project team has uh, manufactured 21 3D printers of the same uh, specification of which one is used for test printing and software and hardware developing and debugging, and the other 20s are used for 7 by 24 hours of uninterrupted production of the Goto module components. The 3D model of the cave uh, needs to be divided before 3D printing, not only to determine the divided line of the printing block, but also to reduce the amount of data uh, pre-processing for 3D printing. The, uh, finally, the KIF has been divided into 110 units. The 3D model data of the KIF uh, has been uh, continuously printed on 20 3D printers for 13 months. And a layer of reinforced coating is spread on the back of the assembled module to increase its strength and the toughness, which could avoid damage in the process of transportation and assembly. Then a layer of specially designed uh, Yungang sandstone texture coating is spread on the front of it to modify the sense of rea reality of a uh, polymer material. In order to restore the color of the grotto, uh, we spent eight months to manually repaint the replica. And here you can see the final result of the recreation. During the pandemic, uh, the visitors still have a lot of interest to see, to touch the replica cave. And uh, we also have a, a fantastic uh, exhibition combined with the replica. Uh, we have a lot of real uh, antiques uh, from Yungang Academy. Here is the uh, other part of the exhibition. We got a lot of media report on our work uh, around China. Here is some of them, uh, including the paper media and the, the television media and also the internet media. Uh, they had also uh, a live tour on June 12th. There was a live show online, uh, which became a phenomenal event on Chinese internet. On September uh, 28th, 2020, uh, the China Cave Temple Cultural Relics Digital Protection Seminar and the 
the Yingang Goto's Journey to the World Conference was held at the Museum of Art and Archaeology of Zhejiang University, announcing the official launch of the Yingang Goto's Journey to the World. So on behalf of the Cultural Relic Digitization team of Zhejiang University, we would like to invite our colleagues in the world with an open and uh, inclusive manner to cooperate on the goal of uh, the journey to the world and uh, promote uh, communication and collaboration between various, uh, uh, various uh, cultures. Uh, we also want to present uh, our work on the water restoration of the Buddha statue uh, in uh, Longmen Grottoes. So the Longmen Grottoes are as famous as Yingang Grottoes. Uh, we uh, had one project in uh, 2019 uh, to virtually restore a uh, Buddha's uh, Buddhist head to his body. Here is the uh, 3D printed replica of the uh, head, and you can see it match the matches the body very well. And uh, there are many uh, reports about our experiment. Experiment. And with the digital return of Longman Grottoes, we are also launching an initiative here. We hope that all countries can share the cultural relics data so we can at least have a chance to virtually restore them in original place. We also have a video of the Yingang Grotto replicas uh, recreation history, uh, and we will send this file separately uh, to the host. Uh, and we hope you will enjoy this video uh, later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.